for the unique collection of poems and prose produced by the patients at Fairfield Hospital. Their work provides a fascinating and moving insight into their lives in an institution, their hopes and their frustrations. The anthology is the first ever produced at a British psychiatric hospital and is due to the dedication of writer David Morgan. He was chosen to take part in the experiment funded initially by Eastern Arts. But after five weeks as one of two writers in residence, he chose to stay for another 16 months because he felt something important could be achieved. It was a challenge and it was a challenge of communication because creative writing is to do with communication. What sort of opportunity do you think it gave the patients? It gave the patients, some of whom who hadn't talked to each other um, for years, hadn't talked to anybody about their situation, their feelings. It gave them an opportunity to communicate their feelings through writing, poetry, plays, short stories. All the missing persons wish they were here today instead of missing from themselves or all the missing persons. When the creative writing experiment started, few believed it would produce worthwhile results. But the classes have proved to hold numerous benefits for the patients. I think it's been wholly therapeutic. Uh, when it began, I was at least as ignorant of the concept as probably anybody else in the hospital. But it had a dual advantage from the patient's point of view. It offered them an avenue to express themselves in, a, in an unstructured, open manner which would otherwise not have been possible. I think it's excellent. Uh, I think it's, it's a project that certainly ought to be adopted by other psychiatric hospitals. Uh, it's increased the ability of patients to communicate and so it was well worth the effort and well worth uh, the resources that we invested in it. Fairfield is a substitute for life. Most of my life has been encompassed by it. Even when I have been at home it has remained dark and shadowy in the background. Always it has the final say. What do you think you gained from the experience here? I gained uh, an understanding of people in situations such as these who are cut off from society for so many years. Um, and I, ch I gained an inner growth in myself by being friends with these people, writing with these people. Um, the work that I did here is, I think, quite adult and is actually amongst the best that I've written because it was on the spot, it was direct, and it wasn't... Um, birds and trees and flowers, it's the human condition. As night turns in its fitful sleep, dreams slide down the banisters of the sky. Fairfield is an empty staircase filled with echoes of forgotten footsteps. What a fascinating idea. The book is published today and there's a special launch of it tonight. We wish them well with that. That's about it for this evening. We'll be back again tomorrow night at 6.35. We're off to the puppet theatre, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Good for your company. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.